Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my review of the X-Tool D1 engraving and cutting machine. Now, I'll tell you up front, when I received this, I had never used a CNC machine, a laser, etching, anything, anything like this. So I was really fascinated with whether I'd actually be able to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I made in the over the course of two days and how I advanced because it's a pretty awesome machine. So the very first thing I wanted to do was to test the etching and also the cutting in a pretty simplified way. So I made these coasters and I can come in here. You can see how accurate they are. Believe me, it gets much better than this. And I just made four coasters. All right. So that's what I did as my first try. All right. And I was pretty impressed with how detailed they were. So I thought, well, how well can it do a picture? So I thought, what is a better fitting image for lasers than Star Wars? So I had a Star Wars poster, and you can see the detail level here. There's nothing done to this. I actually wanted to put a clear coat over it, and then maybe even add some different colored stains or something else. Like I said, this is the second thing that I did on this. And you can see it goes right to the edge. I didn't cut it or anything. So I was like, all right, let's see where we can go from here. So then I saw a pattern, or actually my wife gave me a pattern for a spider. And so I made a 3D spider. All the different parts and assembled them all. And I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, anybody that follows my channel knows that I'm pretty hardcore. And I did all this over the course of two days, okay? <laughs> Just messing around here and there. Um, and basically I drew the stuff or I got patterns, uploaded them and then let them go to work. And then I got back to my regular things I had to do. So anybody that watches my channel knows that I'm into chess. So I thought, well, it'd be cool to make a chess board. I wonder if I can. So I got a little thing online and made a chess board with all the individual little pieces. And, and there's the pawn and every other piece okay so you can just pick these up and they go and i'm just trying to tilt it here they go down into the little slots and what was that that was my fourth project that i tried well then one of my wife's friends had a pattern for something ridiculously complicated so i thought let's see if we can do that so this is a seven layer three-dimensional thing just cut out of regular old corrugated cardboard and you can cut into you can engrave in basswood or base wood you can see i'm a beginner that's what this is base wood and you can also cut into cardboard paper acrylic which i'm going to make another video and do that you can also there's a rotary tool attachment so you can actually etch into the side of a metal uh, coffee cup or uh, other things. It also engraves into ceramics and glass and bamboo and numerous other different materials. So really awesome. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to show you now exactly what it looks like. All right, so it is very accurate. It is accurate to 0 0.08 millimeters and what's cool about it is so accurate that whenever i didn't know what i was doing i was actually going and etching the materials and then <laughs> going back and cutting again and i was like is it going to be able to line itself up and actually etch finish and then go back and precisely cut the answer to that is yes so it's kind of ridiculously cool there's very little vibration. There is, the sound is really low. This is kind of, they present this as a commercial machine with a at home price. And in the description, you can find a link to find out more about it in regards to technical aspects and so forth. It is pretty easy to assemble. It is made out of largely the components inside. The moving parts are stainless steel while the frame is aluminum. So it is both durable and also pretty light. You can pick it up easily. I can easily pick it up, carry it around the house, put it wherever I want. The engraving area is 17 by 16 inches and it has no base on it. And one of my friends who is aware of how laser cutters and engravers work 
said this would work really good. Like you could actually engrave a door. So in just individual parts, just by moving it around. Something I haven't done, but something that would definitely be pretty interesting to try out or a table or basically anything. It also works with Wi-Fi. It works with a mobile app, which is going to come out in a couple of uh, days, probably. And also offline, it has a memory card that you can insert as well. And this is how easy the software is to use. This is a Photoshop that I have right here. It works on Windows, Mac, anything. And basically, what I have here is an image. And what I did to it, I just selected it. And then I go to Adjustments. And then I go Black and White is what I want, it, which is actually going to be grayscale which is good because it's going to have all the detail in there that you want and then you can go in and mess around with brightness and contrast you can use gimp if you do not have photoshop works perfectly fine and then you can just mess around with the contrast until you get what you think would look good and i was very very happy with what i had actually the etching looks much more black in person i just have lights all over the place so that's the reason why it seems so brown and like I said, a clear coat or some different colored stains might make it look really awesome. That's something I'm going to play with. All right, so you got your image. Then you go and get your free software. And you can see it's marked for engrave right here. And you can just come over here to menu and import right like that. And you can go, I want the Star Wars ping. I go, okay. And there it is. And it's inside of there. Then what you want to do is once you have it selected, you can come over here. And is if for engraving, you can see all the different things we can engrave into. Didn't try to engrave into fiberboard, but here's base wood and leather, stainless steel, coated metal. And then you select base wood and then you set all of your settings. And if you want it to be darker, just increase the number of passes to two. Then it'll actually draw it twice. And I actually did that on my chest set and it made the pieces much darker. And you can also adjust the size and all of this other different stuff. Increase the sharpness, which means it's just gonna take longer, but it's gonna be more accurate. But the piece I showed you was at 50%. Now, if you want to etch and cut what you do, let's get rid of this, it's very simple. This is what is going to be cut, and this is a file I downloaded, and you just wanna set, or at least I set, all of the strokes to one on, this is the cutting piece, and then you're gonna save this as a DXF file. And if you don't have Illustrator, you can use Inkscape, which is free and also works. Then what you can do is you get your other piece. Again, I downloaded this and here is the ping file. So this is the etching, the ping file, and then the other DXF file. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, DXF file is gonna be used for cutting. Then you go back into your software, Laserbox Basic is what it's called. And then you just come in here and you say, import and you want to put your etching on the bottom or at least that's what i did and it worked great so there that is as a ping file so we go open and it's going to come and load it right inside of here and then you want to adjust your size to whatever you want let's say i just want it to be uh, 422 millimeters and then this is set for your engraving so you'll come in here and do base wood and you can do there's different settings and so forth that you want to you know use for the different types of wood and different metal whatever you want to engrave in let's say that's good then what we want to do is go import again and you can do cutting and etching at the same time but like i said it is so accurate that when i first did this i actually messed up and i did the etching and i was like whoa wait a minute i want to cut it now and it still worked and everything lined up beautifully all right so this is the cutting file so i'll say open and you just want to make sure that it's the same size so it's selected and you're going to come over here to size and select this change it to 422 and of course everything has to line up before it gets in here oops i actually made a mistake so i'm going to undo that we'll do undo and then what we want to do is we want to select this actually let's just delete it bring it in again so we'll go import again and there it is and there it is and it's going to load it now that it's selected you want to make sure that you have this selected so that it, it increases all of them at the same time change that to 422 and then you just it looks like it's lined up pretty perfect sometimes you might have to move it around a little bit and to get it into better position 
but right there looks just about perfect. And that will handle the cutting. So you go cutting and then you just change this to base wood, corrugated and leather and base wood in this situation, set all your settings and you are ready to cut. And it's that simple. Then you just click on start, but you have to have it connected. So start and I don't have it currently connected and you can do framing and there's a home function and all of that other additional stuff built into the software. So I hope you enjoyed my review of the X-Tool D1 laser etching and cutting machine. I mean, I knew nothing about cutting with laser cutters and engraving and doing all that stuff just a couple days ago. And now I'm able to do this. So I just thought it would be really cool to share all of this stuff with you. All right. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.